halfway through my workout. Just getting to the good part of John Wick 2. The last vlog I made, she was I think 24 pounds. Now she's right about 50 and she's only five months old. She's getting big. So today I'm going to be showing you a lot of the home renovations and most specifically my pirate cave which is my garage movie theater gym conversion you're looking at that so far has already cost me about sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000. Dad spent all of his money building the pirate cave. <laughs> kind of true though. <laughs> Workout mode, engage. Governor DeSantis declaring a state of emergency for 24 counties. You're urged to prepare a hurricane kit with non-perishable food and water for seven days. Oh, well, that's not good. This is the projection of where Hurricane Ivan might make landfall. And here is where we are located. Shit. Workout's complete. Welcome to the first of what might become weekly vlogs, but I haven't committed yet. Today is a house tour, life update tour, and showing you the movie theater I made out of what was a garage. It's possibly the coolest thing I've ever built. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of have a weird relationship with vlogging ever since I tried daily, but I have been missing documenting my life. Can you believe that? I have missed making vlogs for my YouTube channel to the point where now I'm actually trying it for myself because I want to. Who would have thought? Times, they are changing. And speaking of changing times, I actually got another new job last week that makes my ninth revenue source and fourth career third career, fourth career. But technically, it's my first real job since I was 16. <laughs> Working at Hollister. And it's safe to assume that this job is very, very different than that job. So I'm gonna go run to work for a minute. Right, you miss me? And uh, maybe next week's vlog will be what my job is. If you want, just let me know. Today we're showing them the home renovations. We've been busy. All right, so Angelique has been out of town for a lot of it. So as you can see, the last time you saw the house, there was nothing in it. Now there's a lot of crap in it, but it's not necessarily decorated properly. I've finished my office, my man cave, and like the outside perimeter of the house. And that's it. That's all we've done. That's all we'll show you. So come on, we'll show. Let's we'll start in here. Actually, this might have come along a little bit more. So we've kind of actually done a good bit in here. There's this huge entertainment with the TV. Over here, we've got a new breakfast table, a little cabinet cute thing right there. But the thing that meant the most to me was my YouTube set. I already procrastinate making YouTube videos like way too hard. So I filmed one in front of boxes and I felt like such an idiot that I didn't film for weeks. So what I did was I took the time to finally build myself a YouTube room. For the first time in my life, I've actually separated my personal and my professional life. I used to just have a man cave with cameras and all my stuff in it. Now I have two rooms. I have a camera YouTube filming studio dedicated for YouTube and then a man cave that you saw this morning that has nothing to do with my job. I'm gonna try to like cover as much of the frame as possible. I look yeah. ridiculous. Um, so this is my YouTube studio. Right? It's kind of cool, yeah? It, I think if I was ever to add a fifth career, I would just design offices and man caves for people because this is all I've, <laughs> this is the most fun I've had all year. I found this little unit that reminded me of 1950s Mad Men and gave a very different vibe than my old YouTube videos. So we have all of the Cinema Primes right up top and then a lot of our big cameras kind of scattered throughout. I just really, there's a lot more cameras. Like if you see, there's like random lenses, more cameras, all the action cameras, like point and shoot, GoPros and stuff. I didn't want to put everything out. I wanted to make a backdrop that kind of showed my passion for cameras, celebrated a little bit of what I've been able to accomplish, and I really enjoy it. Um, my big YouTube play button, I actually don't know where to put it. I don't have room for it on my backdrop, and I really want to be able to see it all day. So if we'll walk around right now, real slow, where would you put this in this room? Where would this look good? Uh, we're gonna have to start going a little faster because this is getting heavy to us. The last finishing touch, you ready? Miami. And now, 
Batches three shorts. <laughs> Asked why I've only done my two rooms. Angelique would kill me if I decorated this house without her. If she didn't get to document it and film it for you guys, she'd absolutely have my head. Angelique is visiting her brother and family in Utah. Uh, Scooter got engaged. What maples? Oh my God. What maple? This? This? All right, I'll call you back in a minute. I love you. I'm gonna play with maple before it before it opens up. All right, bye. Ready? One more. You gotta catch it. Everyone on the internet's watching you. Go, 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 go. Good catch. Do you know what to say, Ma? Can you find it? Tell her. Go find one. Go find one. She already has it. So I was talking to my dad the other day, and he asked if my golden retriever likes frisbee. I said she had never played, and he made me get her one. So now it's all she wants to do, 50 times a day. So I bought her uh, I bought her a present that's coming next week. Oh, let's play. All right, you ready? Drop your ball. Drop your ball. Good girl. Go get it. Whoa! It's actually really crazy to see how quick she's growing. I wouldn't have known it without watching her play frisbee cuz like 2 weeks ago, she couldn't catch the frisbee cuz she couldn't catch up to it. Now she's so damn strong, she's out running the frisbee by like 10 seconds. She just gets there and waits under it. So uh, if you don't know, Florida in the middle of summer, you get massive lightning and thunderstorms every single day and ours is about to come in. So Maple, get all of your fetch out of the way. You wanna play the ball now? This dog, go play. We didn't show a lot of the outside of the house on our moving in vlog, but we installed this tree swing on our big old sea oak as well as that little expensive beauty right there. So if you guys watch Angelique's vlogs, which you should if you don't, <laughs> you know that what lies behind me is the Great Wall of Vero Beach. So we bought half an acre here in Florida, but we didn't realize that with a golden retriever, she'll need to run and we're gonna need to fence that entire yard. Fencing a house is an absolute nightmare financially. And the reason this one is special is because my incredible fiance insisted on a custom wood fence that I will give her is absolutely beautiful, but <laughs> she decided to build it when lumber was the highest, but it is beautiful and Maple does love it. This is one of the major renovations of the house. Mom, I love you. I love you guys. Have a great day if you need me home. All right, I will. Coolest part about moving home is I get to see my mom like three times a day. All right, so now for my man cave, the part most people have been waiting for. Let me show you how it was first born and then I'll actually show you what we've done. So the first challenge was getting the garage to myself. I accomplished this by offering my fiance the entire rest of the house. She could decorate it however she wanted. I got zero say if she let me have the entire garage. The next step was to actually figure out how to design and utilize the room. I used to program on my computer and this is what I made up. Check this out. I am currently designing my new office um, with a home theater, a wet bar, gaming station, music, uh, toolboxes, gun safe, all storage. How cool is this? For people that might want to actually do this themselves, turning their garage into a she shed or man cave, I'm going to try to be really honest about what things cost and where a lot of the hidden prices were that I necessarily didn't think about. I had originally budgeted twenty to $30,000 for my man cave. I quickly, quickly, quickly surpassed that, like within the first week. So as we go to open this, just remember we started with just a normal bare bones garage. In order to make this even functional, I had to add air conditioning, which was expensive, paint the walls and the ceiling, which was expensive, add insulation in the attic, which was decently expensive, and run electrical through nine or 12 different outlets, which was also another hidden expense I did not see coming. All right, here we go. This is the pirate cave. It's actually a lot bigger than it looked this morning. Well, let's just dig into what's in here. So obviously like the main centerpiece of the man cave is the home theater. This is a 120 inch screen. It is 11 feet wide. I have been absolutely blown away by the quality of this thing. It was $2,700. It's the Vava 4K projector 
with just 120 inch screen off Amazon. I'll put the links down in the description. So we have hung the 120 inch screen right here on the garage door, which was also painted black so you can barely tell. I then put hue strips behind the entire screen projector and added these foam sound panels I got on Amazon. The whole room is also run on hue lights. So as you can see, I can turn up the lights in here and make it very bright and living. And then if I really want, I can click now showing and all the lights turn down except for the movie. So for the audio on the home theater, I'm actually running 7.1.2 surround sound. And I went with the very, very affordable Klipsch bundle deal from Costco. So when you're watching the movie, you have one speaker there and you have two towers on either side of the screen. There's also speakers to the left and to the right of the couch. There's one right there and the other is right there. That provides all sounds coming from the side so you start to get a little depth. Now I got two more of those and those sit here facing the back of the couch and right down here facing the back of the couch. It's pretty cool because you can hear things running and moving around you. And in some movies, like when a door opens, it actually sounds like someone's coming in the door behind you. It's really immersive and I just freaking love it. Now for seating, I got this massive movie theater sofa from Ashley Furniture that all of the seats recline. So it seats seven and five of the people get recliners. For anyone that's trying to build one of these at their own home, just know theater seating is extremely expensive. I believe this couch was $3,500 and it was an extreme bargain because all other theater seating I could find came down to about $1,500 a seat. Another one of those charges that just come out of nowhere and level your bank account. Now for the newest addition to the man cave, we have the, the pirate gym. This thing was probably the best deal I've gotten in forever. This entire gym setup was $650. You might be asking yourself, Sawyer, why was it so cheap? This is why. The thing came in like 900 parts with no directions. It just had one big picture of where all the parts went and they were all numbered, which would have been fine if they had numbered the parts. So this little beauty took me 13 and a half hours to put together. It's safe to say that I will never be able to go back to working out in a gym unless that gym plays John Wick all day. I am a massive computer gamer, so I have built myself a little gaming corner. Granted, I have been so busy that I have not gotten to play one game, have downloaded the new Call of Duty trial, and we will be playing it this weekend, so best believe. <clears throat> the last cool little area I'm building out is a music corner. Um, I, I honestly haven't had a ton of time to play music lately. Moving is stressful and so is life. <laughs> I'm just waiting for that little bit of inspiration and come in here and I can jam out. Over here you saw just this big black curtain. All the things that literally took up tons of room in my other house in Hawaii or apartment in LA now fit all in these shelves right here. And I can close the curtains and it just looks like a wall of the movie theater. I'm pretty obsessed. If you haven't noticed, I'm very, very ADD. If, if I get bored, it's bad. So I keep toys around. I'm sure all of the ladies watching this probably said to themselves, my God, he just has a huge child's playroom. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much the dream, right? <laughs>